Hello creepy kitties! This is Aiden and we are doing the second Kickstarter update video for Scapula, the greatest freak show of all. Chances are if you're watching this video you've backed the campaign already. If you haven't, please please join us at the link below and help us make it happen. This is the final book in the Scapula series and we want it to be the beastly best it can be. So confession time from me. I'm an addict. I'm addicted to monsters. Monsters have been a huge part of my life ever since I first saw Creature from the Black Lagoon when I was only nine years old or so, and my life was never the same. Monster movies have been a huge influence on me, and of course, they've been an influence on Scapula. Ever since the very beginning, I knew that Scapula was going to have a team of monsters with them. Now, usually when you have monsters in cartoons, it's always the same old adaptations of the universal monsters. You'll have a Dracula character, a Frankenstein character, a Wolfman, a mummy, and so on and so on. And while I did did kind of do that with some minions called the Halloween Gang. They were never really as important as the Sinister Monster Doom Legion, who are the major villains and monsters in the series. I've tried to pay homage to a lot of the great monsters that have influenced me, while at the same time trying to make something a little more of my own. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the creative process used for making a monster. Let's have fun with it. How to make a monster. I asked my patrons on the Scapiel Comics page on Patreon to help me choose what kind of monster it was going to be. I presented them with two columns of choices. The first column was a list of different kinds of animals, and the second column was a list of horror genres that could make for interesting monsters. And the ones that got the most votes were, from the animal column, the blobfish, and from the horror genre column, the no-budget 1950s drive-in monster movie. So today we're going to be doing a blobfish monster in the style of a 1950s real piece of garbage. I mean like really, really low budget. The Creeping Terror, The Beast of Yucca Flats, Creature from the Haunted Sea, that low budget. And you know what? That's totally fine with me. So we're just starting off with just very loosely penciling out the pose. It's as simple as playing around, you know, keep it loose, keep it easy. The inking comes next. This is the same kind of inking brushes that I use from comics work. Turning a blobfish into a monster is pretty easy. I'm, most of you, if you've been on the internet, you've seen this damn thing before, and yeah, it's freaky enough as it is. Imagining this as a 50s monster, though, is just imagining a very low-budget production that probably could have only afforded to have made the head of a monster, so they just had to throw together whatever they could to make the body. It's probably a garbage bag, a bunch of sea weed, some swim fins, and of course the cheap gag that we can see the stuntman's head inside there. This poor guy is probably sweating himself to death and comes from a long tradition of guys in monster suits in movies who probably were grievously injured, if not flat out destroyed. A lot of the process I'm doing here is pretty similar to what I do in my usual monster drawing videos for my Patreon backers, even down to having them vote for it. If you have never seen those before, they're pretty easy to find on my YouTube channel. You can see there's also a little bit of influence going on with a movie called Attack of the Giant Leeches! Kind of rings, the rubbery kind of textured. I'm looking at him again afterwards and I just realize he's starting to kind of turn into the octopus monster from the Beastie Boys music video for Intergalactic, which I totally didn't have in mind, but you know what, that's a fun video, so I'll allow it. The secret is just having fun. Just have fun with the character, have fun with the genre, and once you've gotten the you've gotten the basics of the genre down, you just take it from there, just have a lot of fun with it, and here is our result. The Creeping Blobfish. And there you have it. We made a monster right before your eyes. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your pledge. Let us check out this week's brand new pledges. These guys are awesome. Very cool, very creepy in a good way. We've got two more weeks to go. Hope we can make our goal and hopefully you'll all join the freak show very soon. Thank you so very much, guys. Bye-bye.